And I'd love to stay home and play with you, but I gotta get to the club. Oh, club can wait. I can't. Oh, I can't. You're impossible, you know that? Mm. You don't ever get enough, do you? No. <laughs> Let's make more loud. No, I really can't. Listen, we're out of coffee. I drank the last of it. Um, Wendy, where is my blue tie? I don't know. Okay, where, where did I put your picture? I want to put it on my desk. I, I put it in the drawer. Hmm. Wasn't that a wonderful dinner last night? Yeah, cost enough. Oh, it was worth it. Just the look on Mom's face when you sent champagne to her table. Oh, I know, and Lloyd yeah. Kendall was very impressed with that. We showed him, didn't we? Yes, we sure did. Where is my uh, uh, brass nameplate, the one I keep on my desk? How would I remember something like that? Well, I want to take it with me to the club. I can never find anything in here, Wendy. I was so proud of you. Yeah. Are you listening to me? No, I'm sorry. What'd you say? I said I was proud of you. I was proud to be your wife. I always knew being married to you would be like that. Expensive dinner, <laughs> champagne, <laughs> all in front of my mother to see how happy we are. Yeah, well, I wanted to see a lot more than that. I wanted to see what a good husband I'm being to you. That's really important to you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, she's my mother-in-law. She's family now. Yeah, well, I wish she'd see it that way and stop treating you like the enemy. Maybe there's a way we can change that. Oh, how? I got a job for you. What I want you to do as your first official task as Mrs. Warren Carter, hostess extraordinaire. What is it? I can't wait. I want you to have a party. <laughs> just arrived. Who sent them? I don't know. There's a card here, though. Oh, I'll read it. Come home soon. Love, Channel 6 crew. That's thoughtful. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, I'll get a vase. Home. You know, it's funny. I really don't have a home anymore. Oh, you do, too. Right here with us. It's only temporary. Everything's temporary. I feel suspended, disconnected. Even work seems so remote. I can't go to the office of the station without falling apart. What's happening to me? Sonny, you're having a very normal reaction to an ugly episode. But I'm a reporter. I've been out in the fields. I've covered mob scenes and riots. I always kept my cool then. This morning, a kid gets angry at me, and I become an emotional wreck. Well, T.R. was more than angry. She was vicious about Brian. Oh, it's not T.R.'s fault. I just can't seem to let go. Everything reminds me of, of that night. After what you've been through, I think that's normal. But Liza, why can't I forget about it? I want to, I, I just don't seem to be able to. I want my life back again. And my life was my work. <sighs> Hogan's right, I am just not ready to go back. Sonny, things take time. You know, you, the trial put tremendous stress on you. You don't even realize how much it took out of you. You need a few days off. To do what? Sit around here with nothing to do? I'll go crazy. Why don't you uh, involve yourself with other things, other people? You mean get my mind off myself? Exactly. <sighs> Where do I begin? Right here, in this house. Thank you, Gwen. Good morning, Mrs. Wyatt. I'm reporting for duty. Glenn. You can leave. Close the door, will you? Yes, Mrs. Wyatt. You have some nerve coming back here. Why are you surprised to see me, Mrs. Wyatt? 
I said I'd be acquitted and back to work. Not at my station. Well, Channel 6 is home to me. Not anymore. Well, your audience is waiting for it. They like me even if you don't. You've destroyed your credibility. Well, that's your opinion. Opinion that's shared by a lot of viewers. Not according to the fan mail I've been getting. Very interesting. All of it very supportive. Then they're just as sick as you are. The public always takes the side of the underdog. You are not the underdog here. Sonny is. You raped her. Now, you may have fooled the jury, but you're not fooling me. Careful, Mrs. Wyatt. I've had enough of courtrooms. I wouldn't want to go back to one with a slander suit. You disgust me. After all the nice things you said about me on the witness stand? Because your lawyer wouldn't let me finish. That's what I paid him for. Get out of here. I don't ever want to see your face again. Sorry. I have a contract, and I'm holding you to it. Well, we'll just see what my lawyers say about that. I'll save that. you the trouble. I've already checked with my lawyers. I've been cleared of all charges. You have to take me back. But you don't have to worry. Because I'll be the same reliable newscaster I've always been. Not at my studio. You can't deny me my livelihood. If you try, I'll throw a lawsuit at you so fast, you won't know what hit you. Now, neither one of us wants that, do we? Good. That's settled. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a broadcast to prepare. I even bought a new suit. I mustn't disappoint my public. You know, ever since Travis left, I haven't been able to get through to TR. She acts like, like he deserted her. She's very angry with everyone, except you. Well, after what happened this morning, I'm not so sure about that. No, 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 no. I've seen you two together. I think you could help her. How? Sonny, she identifies with you and what happened to you. Haven't you noticed the way she never talks about her past? I've questioned her, but she's very evasive with me. I think you could draw her out. Do you really think I could? Yeah. I do. I think it would help T.R. to talk about her life. She keeps burying this. It's, it, it, she's just going to become more angry, more bitter. I know how that feels. Uh, T.R., sweetheart, um, do me a favor, would you? Uh, keep Sunny company while I run out and see if Kate needs anything in the nursery. Thank you. Pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Daffodils are my favorites. What are yours? I don't know. T.R., about this morning... I don't want to talk about it. Look, I was really glad that Look, you Look, I shouldn't by. have gone, okay? No, it was very sweet of you. I'm sorry that I behaved the way I did. I haven't been acting much like myself lately. You forgive me? Can I have my ring back now? Oh, sure. Thank you. It wasn't very lucky, was it? Helped me a lot. What have you got there? It's a diary. Travis gave it to me. You know, I, I used to keep a diary when I was a teenager. I still have it. Why? Oh, it's... It's fun to look back and remember. I used to write down everything I was thinking. I still have one, only now I call it a journal. Well, what did you write about? Oh, everything that I was thinking. All my feelings, my... My dreams, my hopes, my fears, my, my anger. I think that's what made me decide to become a writer. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What do you write about? Nothing. Oh, I think there'd be lots of things that you could write about. About yourself and the world. The world stinks. You're right. Sometimes it does. Nothing's like it is. Now, what do you mean by that? I thought you were my friend, but you're not. Of course I am. You got mad at me today. It was... It was the way you went after Brian. I'm still gonna get even with him. 
He took my father away from me. T.R., he didn't do it I wish he were dead. Revenge doesn't help How anything. How would you know? A man raped you and you just let him get away with it. T.R., please no! listen to... That man hurt you and he got away with it. I am so sick. People messing up my life and just getting away with it. Sometimes we don't have any Oh, control. please, don't give me your lectures. I get enough of that from Liza. I don't need to hear any from you, too. A party? Oh, I love parties. It's great. I give the best parties. Be well, okay, listen, at the club, since you're half owners again. No, camp, Wendy. No, better yet, the country club, because they have an orchestra and a tent and a wonderful new chef. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I want to have a little dinner party. How little? Just family. Whose family? Ours. You mean Brian, Kristen, and Mom? But at the same table? Well, just something like that. That's not a party. That's a wake. <sighs> I haven't seen Brian since the wedding. Kristen doesn't approve. Mom has disowned me. They'll come around. Just give them a little bit of time. Oh, it's going to take more than a dinner party. I'm not up to it. Wendy, will you wait a minute? Listen, it's your mother we want to concentrate on, OK? She is the one we have to have on our side. So you're going to have a dinner party in her honor, and she'll be the only guest. Well. Then I hope you're prepared to pick up a tab at the most expensive restaurant in town. Why would I do that? Because that is what she's used to. Yeah, well then, it'll be a very nice change for her. Because we're going to have a dinner party right here in your new home. That way she'll see how happy we are here and that we want to include her in our lives. This place is a mess and I can't cook. Well, you'll think of something. Oh, oh, really? And when would you like me to perform this miracle? <clears throat> Tonight. Tonight? Oh, oh, you're really crazy. Did you look at this apartment? No, you look at it. Now, you call your mother and you set it up. Okay? I gotta go. I gotta get to the club, reclaim my no. turf. No, no, no. No, you're not going anywhere, Wendy. You have to stay here. You have to No, come Wendy, you just help. call her and convince her. Lauren! I know you can do it, sweetheart. Mm. Okay, you, we'll talk to you uh, later. Go ahead. I, I can't. Bye. Lauren, you don't understand. I can't give... Uh... Let's see. Caterers. Very good. How long were you the, uh, did you hold the manager's job at the Skylight Room? Well, the owners uh, hired me in August of 75, and uh, I stayed on until 80. Oh, what made you decide to leave? Well, they uh, sold the club to a conglomerate, and uh, they expanded it into a casino, you know, a big-time gambling operation. They uh, wanted me to stay, but I prefer walking, working on a, on a smaller, more uh, intimate scale. Well, you certainly have a great deal of experience. I see that you've managed two clubs, one in California and one in Florida, that I'm familiar with, with excellent reputations. How did you find out that I was looking for a new manager? Well, I'd been interviewed a while back by uh, Mr. Carter, and uh, I heard recently through the grapevine that the position had opened up again, so uh, I thought I'd check it out. Well, I'm glad you did. I have several other applicants that I'm considering, but I will be making my decision very quickly. Well, thank you for seeing me, Mr. Kendall. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Well, the feeling is mutual. I will get in touch with you and let you know my decision one way or the other. What's going Thanks on? Thanks again. I will be in touch, so. Hello, Mr. Carter. What was, uh... Saul Lester doing here? I'm interviewing applicants for the new club manager. You found your man. I'm back. <sighs> oh. Well, so much for that idea. I blew it. <laughs> I made things worse with her. I'm sorry. I thought it'd be good for both of you. She is really angry. Yeah, I heard her slam her door. When is that girl going to open up and allow someone to, to help her? I don't know. It's getting a little tough. Can't blame her. I know exactly where she's coming from. Well, then, would you please explain it to me? It's becoming a little hard for all of us to take. We both had terrible things happen to us. She lost her father. I lost me. I'm angry. I feel empty. I'm, I'm blaming myself. Can't do that. Well, that's part of T.R.'s anger at me. She said that I let it happen. 
I let Jack hurt me and get away with it. Oh, now, come on. Don't you let that get to you. She's blaming herself for something, too. Liza, she sees a lot of herself in me. I know that. Maybe she's right. Maybe there was something I could have done to have stopped him. Maybe subconsciously I let him on and it's all my fault. Oh, Sonny, stop that. You know that's not true. I don't know anything anymore. Except that I'm terrified Jack's going to come after me again. I want to kill him for what he did to me. Oh, Sonny. Well, T.R. feels the same way about Brian. That was an accident. Not in her eyes. She said the world stinks. Well, you know something? She's right. If you knew what it felt like to sit there and be judged by a group of total strangers. Jack Benton wasn't on trial. I was. All right, now listen to you. You're judging yourself. The counselor told you you'd have those feelings. Great. What do I do with them? What does T.R. do with hers? You talk about it, darling. You get them out. How can I help T.R.? I can't even help myself. I used to have control over my life. Now I have none. Sonny, this is going to take time. Now, you've already helped T.R. more than you even realize. Sure. It's true. You have allowed her her anger. No one else has been able to do that. Don't you see? She can't right now, but she will. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. You're a good person, and so is T.R. And you didn't ask for what happened to you. It just happened. But someday, the bad memory's going to fade. You will have control over your life again. I'm sure of that. I want to believe that. I want T.R. to believe it, too. Now, here's a list of all the departments here at the studio. I'd like you to uh, commit them all to memory, plus their functions and the personnel. Yes, Mrs. White. I have no intention of you losing you to the steno pool. You've restored my faith. You can actually type and spell all at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Wyatt. Mom, got a minute? Yes, Wendy, what is it? Uh, well, I just wanted to talk to you, uh, privately. I don't think you've met Gwen. Gwen Holland, this is my daughter, Mrs. Carter. How do you do, Mrs. Carter? Nice to meet you. Excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, dear, but I do have quite a busy morning, so what is it? Well, I didn't come to ask for money or anything like that. Well, that's a welcome relief. Come on, let's stop the silly arguing, okay? I've got some good news, and I want to share it with you. What is it? Well, I've got an invitation, and um, I want you to come to dinner tonight. It's my first dinner party as Mrs. Warren Carter, and you're the guest of honor. <laughs> well, I'm honored. What's the occasion? Well, something wonderful's happened, but I'm not going to tell you about it now. I'll tell you about it then. You can't tell me what it is now? No. It's a surprise. Well, if you come over here to tell me that Susie's gone and left town, you can save yourself the bother. I know it. What? Well, I, I had no idea when. That doesn't matter. She's gone. How do you know? I just know. Well, that's good. Well, that's the best news I've heard. That means she'll stay out of Warren's life. Not if she decides to have the baby. It'll be all right. Susie will Susie be okay. She has her life. I have mine. I don't want to talk about her anymore. Please say you'll come to dinner. Darling, this is very short notice. Seven o'clock. All right, if it means that much to you. Oh, good. All right, but I've got a million things to do, so i got to run. I want Warren to be proud of me. Lloyd, I'd appreciate it if you consult with me before you do any more interviewing. I, uh, I don't have to consult with you about anything. In fact, I don't even like your walking in here without an announcement. Well, when two people are equal partners, I believe they should understand one another. I agree. Good. Well, then I think we're going to get along just fine. We are? Yeah. I always told you we were going to be in business together. I think we're going to be a great team. Uh, well, what gave you that idea? Well, with our combined expertise, there is no stopping us. I think we could turn this club into the biggest and the best in the country. Have big ideas. Oh, and a lot of them. And while I'm teaching you how to run a nightclub, 
you can teach me all about racehorses. Then we'll be able to move our partnership into other business ventures. Partnership? Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, I wanted to do a little expanding right here. A disco, then maybe some more private rooms for small parties. Anyway, I will tell you all about all my ideas uh, once I get settled back in my office. My office? No. No, I'm very content right here. I know where everything is. I'm very settled. If you'd like your own office, maybe we could build one for you to your specifications. We aren't going to do anything. This is my club. Our club. I happen to own Martin's half interest. There's the deed to prove it. This uh, document is worthless. What do you mean? Look at the date. The day before, March 16th to be exact. I acquired Martin's interest in this club. Well, that can't be. The deed is registered in the county courthouse. You can check it out and take that useless piece of paper and this box of junk with you when you go. I never want to see you in this club again without a reservation. ever mentioned Susie again, I'd break both your legs. Now shut up Still before I shut you. Still trying to protect the lady's honor, aren't you? Even after you got her pregnant. That's it, Carter. Listen, that I'll is just... it.